When it comes to performance, it's all about the size of your GPU and not how you use it. And today, we have devised a method for you to be able to compare the size and girth of your ePane with all other AE users from around the world. I've seen a lot of people on the After Effects subreddit complaining about, oh, they bought this $5,000 computer and when they hit render, it's only using 5% of their CPU. The performance of After Effects is a very puzzling thing. So to dispel the mystery and actually give you real world After Effects performance stats, we've created a benchmarking tool that tests four separate things. We test single core, multi-core, GPU and disk performance. And we allow you to basically submit your results once the benchmark is done to our website, where you can, as I said before, compare the size and girth of your scores with your friend's scores because we all know that everyone's, you know, done the comparison before um, with a ruler and everyone's sort of added a few inches or centimeters depending, but you can't cheat these results. So for example, if you're wondering which CPU is going to perform best in single core and multi-core performance, you can go to a benchmark, sort the results based on those criteria and you can find the CPUs which are already performing the best using actual After Effects benchmarking data, not just, you know, some pass mark or, you know, how fast it can compute Pi. These are real world After Effects scores. So you'll know exactly which CPU to buy and which ones to avoid. If you've ever been curious about whether or not your wife's boyfriend's After Effects computing performance is better than yours, then you need to download a benchmark. Stop worrying and start living.